So we actually have a couple of packages to unbox. I'm actually thinking about breaking up my unboxing videos even when I get large batches because one, it just makes more sense. I get to cover more knives and more depth that way without feeling like I'm taking attention from other knives. And two, it just helps me be able to do more content over time just because instead of having really long videos that probably not as many people are watching, I can just have fewer videos or sorry, more videos that are shorter that it, it just, I think it just makes more sense. Uh, so this is a package from Zippy and I'm struggling because I think I might have dulled this knife a little too much. Whoops. Ah, I have no sharp knives in my vicinity. Okay, hold on. Oh, I tell a lie. I have many sharp knives in my vicinity. Uh, okay. Oh, I just pinched myself on the knuckle duster. Oh, that was sucky. Oh, this knife is way sharper. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm still struggling abound. So I had the privilege of basically saying, Zippy, I really want you to make this thing. And he says, ah, and I'm like, please. And he's like, well, I don't have the knife to make it. And I said, I'll send you mine if you let me do the specific colors. And he's like, yeah, sure, I could do that. So shout out to Zibby for being the man. So I actually have two things in here. The first thing is the new thing. Okay, we got stickers again. Uh, we got, oh yes, those are good things. What the fuck is this? Another sticker it just says, Chell, enjoy David. I forget that his real name is Zach David. It's one of those band-aids that's tiny. My knuckle, I think this is the new one, okay. So, first things first, the old one. Oh, no, that's the new one. Okay, first things first. The old one is that I sent in my ultralight and I asked him to make blade inserts because while I love the ultralight's handle inserts because it just makes the grip more comfortable, it becomes a lot more handle bias. And you know, cause the, it's like not a lot more, but it's noticeably more. Oh yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Oh yes. Okay. So yeah, uh, as a courtesy, he let me uh, have alternating colors. So now I have matching teal and red for the, the blade inserts. Oh, it feels perfect. Oh, this is literally perfect. Thank you, Zippy. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna have more fun flipping this later. I love the ultralight. Anyone that's selling their ultralight is a fucking coward. Uh, you know, I think the all, all the inserts make it just oh so slightly less light. You know what? Actually, let's. He has it on his website, which I always appreciate. Uh, because Zippy, it's like, what's the weight difference with everything? And he'll tell you the stock configuration. So this is now 2.89. Uh, with everything in here. Uh, now, the brand new thing, which comes in this zippy canvas bag. This is, ooh, yeah, this is the Cycloid HD with forest colors, which are exclusive to the Cycloid HD and the, oh, what is it? And the bandage knives, which I reviewed earlier. Uh, the Cycloid HD is 2.68. Now, I was critical of the Cycloid 1.6. Uh, the Cycloid 2, I have not tried, but right now, ooh, the Cycloid HD is... Oh, this is quite nice, I must say. This is, this is really quite nice. Oh, I also bought some random inserts. Oh, I have featherweights that I need to put into my Canto Origin. So I'll do that at some point. Or I need to see if they fit in the Canto Origin, but they should. The Cycloid HD though, wow, this is, this is a really nice plastic ballast song. It's about, oh, I wanna say it's like a hundred bucks about, so. Same price as an Orion, more expensive than a uh, Edit Light, but with some of the configurations for the Edit and the Calico, they all start to be kind of up there. So like if it is more expensive, it's marginally more expensive. The Cycloid 2 might be more in line with, the, it's now the 2.1, I should say. The 2.1 is slightly more in line with the Calico and the Edit in terms of cost. The HD is a little bit more, but I must say the HD feels rather premium this this is really nice this is really nice it's got tang pins it's got fucking tang pins on the blade it's a plastic ballast song with pins the play 
Uh, well, I just got this new. There's, there's like no play. It's it's very minimal play. I'm not going to fuck around with it too much. It is plastic. There's weights in the spacers. I decided I'm just going to do... Oh, as much as I love multicolored knives, I, I, I think the forest green exclusivity kind of got to me. And it's very pretty. So this, this is really, really nice. Um, bite handle indicator. You know, it actually is pretty effective because it feels like a chorp. Uh, but obviously not so painful that you're like, oh, wee ow, wee ow, 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 like the jawbone. Or not the jawbone. I don't have a jawbone. Oh, the jigsaw. Um, I am honestly just probably not even going to fuck around with configurations because it feels fantastic as is. This feels fucking excellent. Great job, Zippy. Uh, and yeah, every time I feel those teeth, I'm like, yeah, my wrist pads have to be cleaner because that's how I keep getting blood on my knuckles. And pff, that was a ring of shame. Um... I will say I do think that the like the carving out of here it, it's like not the most attractive to me to be perfectly honest but it is effective I got the leaf blade instead of the tanto and I wanted it all black with the color highlights um, so yeah I do think it looks better than it did before because um, I think some of the blades will kind of just it felt cheap, I'm going to be honest. The, like the Cyclide 1.6, I was critical because it felt spongy. It was really light in a way that didn't feel very satisfying to flip. But this has like a lot of weight at the ends, which while it is really light, this is lighter than, this, than the Ultralight. Um, the size of it makes it feel really good. Um, I'll have to compare it to the Edit Light that I have uh, because it feels kind of like a similar weight of the Edit light is very it's very chunky uh but these handles feel a lot more in line with well they're much more they're much smaller they feel pretty standard the edit lights are very large handles so if you want a premium plastic bow song this is this is absolutely fucking worth it there's i've seen someone try and sell their red one um for like 70 this has positive jimping and a saw pattern that's part of the 2.1 so as you can see, it's positive jimping because it sticks out slightly. You know, it sticks out, extends past the handle, oh so slightly. Um, and instead of being triangular, like beep, beep 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 beep, it's saw, so it goes like it's basically triangular but with like sharper patterns. It's gonna be hard to kind of show it off on the webcam just because it won't focus. I know it won't focus. Focus, bitch. Eh. That's the best I can do right now. It's kind of working. Anyways, this is a Cycloid HD. Feels fantastic. Let me, I haven't even tried doing a bunch of flips. I was just enamored with the feel. It's, it's got a little bit of, you know, it, it doesn't feel super duper like grippy in the sense that it just like sticks to you in the, in like in a, in a gross feeling way. Um, this feels like really nice plastic. Um, it like the weight is there, and so like it's it's under three ounces. Don't get me wrong; it is light, but it doesn't feel it doesn't feel bad. I have to get used to the weight, but I'm, I will say that it feels really good to flip. Oh, that felt great! And let's do a BTKB into the Felix. Oh. I mean, I fucked it up, but it feels pretty good still. Again, this is light. It is plastic. Plastic is not for everyone, but this should theoretically be a TA, TSA safe battle song. Um, but I always would be concerned. I wouldn't flip a battle song. Um, oh, that felt great. I wouldn't flip a battle song this year. Like Remshi said that his his edit got confiscated by TSA for no fucking good reason. Um, apparently, the TSA agent knew how to do a basic opening and i'm just like sussies so um yeah be careful if you do flip a battle song through tsa you might get through in fact he said he got through quite a number of times but he also it, it he failed once and i mean he was like i only had a plastic battle song specifically to get through tsa so just be aware because this thing isn't it is a cheap battle song it isn't cheap it is a hundred ish bucks so you know is it worth it? 
Honestly, yeah, I think so. And on the secondhand market, if you can find a 2.1 Cyclone HD, it's a much harder to be like, this. is is, is your Cyclone HD the 2.1 variant or the 2.0 variant? It doesn't really specify. So you just have to know. I know that this is the 2.1 variant because of the jimping. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thanks to Zippy for making me these blade inserts for the ultralight. They are on sale on his website for like 14 bucks, and uh, they feel fantastic. So you have the handle inserts, and you, you're like, oh, I really wish this was neutral. Bitch, you can now have it be neutral. It feels fucking great. And the Cycloid HD feels fucking great. Cycloid 1.6, the moment I flipped it, I was like, oh, spongy. This feels great. This feels excellent. So if you like... Uh, if you like this content, uh, check out my coffee in the description. It is really nice to be able to keep this channel alive uh, with supporting from viewers like you. Because, um, you know, I don't get money off of YouTube revenue. Uh, and also, like and subscribe. I'm also going to link uh, in the description Zippy's uh, website for the HD as well as the blade inserts for the ultralight. And, uh, yeah, uh, Zippy's the man. He's fucking great. He's a really nice guy, too. So, yeah, thanks, everybody. Happy flipping.